Hey guys, it's Mira here. So today's video is going to be about the Samsung Notes. Firstly, I would like to say thank you to Misha H for suggesting this video and my latest upload, the study vlog. I truly appreciate your comment Misha and I hope this video could help you. Samsung Notes is a free note taking app that is available in all Samsung devices. I've used this app since March 2021 for this year's semester. And now, I would like to share all the features and tools I've personally discovered and love from the app. Number 1. Folders The Folders is a nifty way for you to organize your notes according to your subject. As you can see, I have color-coded all of my folders according to my class or what I would use it for. Under each folder, you can also add on another subfolder, maybe your class exercises, handwritten quiz or assignment. Number 2. Page Template there are a variety of page template and color for you to choose from. From blanks, to lines, to a variety of grid size, to-do list, calendar, and you can even make your own music sheets. And you can even apply your page template whether to all pages or not. For example, the blank page for the first page and a grid option for the second page. Number 3. Setting your page template It may be a bit tiring to open your notes and constantly switching the template or color. So one way to have a default template is by going to the setting, style and page template. And here, you can either choose individual page or infinite page, your preferred template and also your color. If you don't find the template that you want, you can even import your own. For me, I like to have my notes split down the middle, so I draw a line in the grid page, screenshot, crop the size and upload it in the Samsung notes. So now, every single time I open a new note, it will immediately change to my preferred template. Number 4, Finger Drawing A lot of people ask me whether the Samsung Type S6 Lite has palm rejection or not. For the Samsung Net, <laughs> for the Samsung Notes, yes it does. Simply go to the More Options, the three horizontal dots on the top right of your note and press Finger Drawing off. Number 5, Toolbar Here is the toolbar. You can move the toolbar anywhere you like. I personally like to keep it at the top. On the toolbar, the tools that I mostly use are the Pen Mode, Highlighter Mode, selection mode, shapes, change style, and also lock canvas. Let's go through the tools I mostly use one by one. Number 6, pen mode. There are 5 different types of pen. Fountain pen, calligraphy pen, pen, pencil, and also a calligraphy brush. You can choose your size and also your colors. My go-tos are the pen in size 19 to 22, and also the pencil in size 23. Number 7, Highlighter. There are essentially two types, either highlighter or marker. The main difference is the marker has a rounded edge instead of a sharp one. You can also choose either straight line or regular type. My go-tos are the straight line highlighter and also the straight line marker. I not only use them both to highlight or make titles, I also use the straight line marker to make bullet points. And since the update in Samsung Notes, you can even change the transparency of your highlighters or markers. Number 8. Choose your colors. Before starting off any notes, I will always choose a color palette or theme of the note. Under the size scale, the one with 6 dots on the far right is where you can find a variety of color sets for you to choose from. You can choose up to 4 sets of color only. I will always choose the white to black for my pens and then I will choose the color scheme for my highlighters. In the case that you forget what color did you use, you can simply use the eyedropper tool to help you with that. Number 9. Creating your color palette For pen or pencil, I would stick with the regular black color, but for highlighters and markers is where I would have some fun. When you open the pen or highlighter, there are two boxes. The smaller box at the bottom is where you can put your start tools. For example, I would like to make a matcha theme color note. Okay, so let us start my regular pen size and also color. Next, choose my color scheme and my highlighter color.
Next, this small box can be detached from the main box and then move around. So when you close the pen or highlight the options, the star box will still be there. This is a nifty way for you to quickly shift between highlighted colors. And in case you don't like the color choices or size, simply double tap the pen, highlighter or marker in the star box and you can change the size or color. Then click done. 11. Change Style Mode So with this Change Style Mode, you can easily change the style of the word that you wrote. Choose also the si size and color without changing the existing <laughs> without changing the existing option in your start box. I hope that makes sense. Number 11 is the eraser. Samsung Notes offers two types of eraser, whether it's stroke or area. I prefer to use the stroke eraser as it is much more faster, but I too often use the area eraser if I'm doing artwork or if I'm making a table and just wanted to clean it up. You can easily access your eraser by clicking on the stylus side button. Selection mode has either lasso mode or rectangle. I much prefer the lasso mode as it is much more easier for me to choose my type. When you use your selection mode, you can either move it around, cut or copy and paste, or even change the style. Also, with the selection mode, you can even straighten your handwriting, or you can move, be it the text or the marker backward or forward. Neat shapes. With neat shapes, you can draw a straight line, circle, triangle, and more. In fact, you can actually do this without activating the neat shapes by simply drawing your straight line, holding your drawing for a second, and then let it go. However, there is a key difference when you use the neat shape and when you don't. When you don't use the neat shape mode, the line is definitely much more crooked than when you do. And the next difference is you can erase the line that you did without the neat shape mode with your eraser. However, you cannot do it to the neat shaped line. The ways to delete that line is by using the lasso tool or placing the tip of your stylus on the line for a second, then click delete. Or lastly, if you had your finger drawing off, simply use your finger instead to select the neat shape line and delete. Lock canvas. On the far end of your toolbar, there is a lock canvas. If you do not lock your canvas, you can zoom in and zoom out and just use one finger to move around whether it be left, right, up and down. But if you lock your canvas, the only thing that you can do is scroll up and down by using two fingers. I would typically leave it unlocked as I am always zooming in and out of my notes. Pretty title hack You can title your notes with pretty fonts with just going to the Instagram font generator and generate your design font. One con is you won't be able to search your notes according to the title as the Samsung notes cannot detect your title. How I combat this is by adding tags. Add your notes, click the more options and add your tags. So once you add your tags in the search bar, you can just search for your tags and you can find your notes again. When you open your notes, there are five tools on the top right, which is edit, sort pages, search, share, and more options. If you click edit, the edit tool will be replaced with a reading mode. During reading mode, you can use your stylus to scroll up and down without accidentally writing anything on your notes. Sort pages is incredibly useful if you like to add blank pages in between page or if you would like to delete or if you would like to move around your page. You can even copy and paste it in another note file. The insert tool can be used if you would like to insert an image, PDF, voice recording, audio file, and more. Voice recording is incredibly useful to be used during class as you can record your lectures while writing your notes. But when you play the recording file, it will show what exactly you write during that moment. Importing pictures. Uh, personally for me, I find that it is much more easier to import pictures when all of my slides are in PowerPoint. Uh, 
The way to do it is just to simply hold the picture that you want to copy and then you can move it to your notes. Okay, that's all for today. I hope uh, this uh, video could help you and um, at least introduce you how to make a simple note on Samsung Notes. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and also watch my other videos. Um, I promise it's not that boring, okay? <laughs> Alright, and wherever you are in the whole entire world, I hope that you are happy and you are healthy, okay? Bye-bye!